So I have a super busy day today, but I wanted to talk to you guys about this because it just smells so, so good. So I'm like, I gotta find my camera, I gotta hit record, I gotta get this video up and out there. Um, so this morning I have some sad news. I was going through my perfume collection and I dropped one of my favorite fragrances, the Givenchy, um, in the like gel rollerball so i'm a little sad about that but we may be going shopping tonight so um i may be picking up some new fun things tonight um we do have a louboutin boutique here and i've smelled their fragrances before i love the bottles i love how the fragrances smell so i may be picking up one of those we shall see but um for this video i'm gonna show you guys the bottles of perfumes so we have Allende right here such a heavy such a luxury bottle like this bottle is just like pure freaking luxury the cap reminds me of like almost like a lipstick um or something i don't know it's like an aladdin it just has this like really like regal look to it it's just really really beautiful the bottles are stunning um, and this one is part of the Shooting Stars collection. It comes with a meteorite that actually fell into a vanilla, I think it was a field or a vanilla grove. I'm not sure how that really works, but um, it fell into the vanilla field in Mexico, Allende, Mexico, and that's what this perfume is named after. Um, I read the notes online and I've read all the reviews. There's a lot of bad reviews for Allende. And at first when I sprayed it, I got that smell of like, a vanilla candle like one of those vanilla candles you'd find at like you know any any store it smelled very much very heavy vanilla um, but as I wore it I started to really really appreciate the blending and the art inside of this vanilla and when it dried down around like hour four or five um, I started to really really smell maybe it was like hour six I'm not quite sure but it was like further on in the day I started to smell that signature Zerzhov popping through and I just fell kind of in love with it, honestly. And I feel like I'm one of those people where sometimes the things that I'm most adverse to in the beginning, I end up loving later. And I'm not sure if I'm like one of the only people who is like that, but this goes for everything in my life. It goes for food, it goes for friends, it goes for perfume, it goes for like hair. Like when I first got my hair darker, if you guys watch my videos, um from a while back i was blonde i'm naturally blonde my roots are growing in so i look a little bald at times but i didn't love it at first i was kind of like "Ooh, this is weird but after a day i'm like in love same with my eyebrows at first very ooh, but now i'm in love same with like some of my best friends when we first met we were so adverse to each other that we were like like i I just am one of those people where like at first I'm just like eh and then it grows on me it just it just grows on me like a vanilla meteorite shower from heaven and so I have to say I'm really really liking Allende will I buy it again time will tell I don't know I love Zerzhov um I did review um Ivory Root which is a beautiful fragrance I kind of compared it to alien which may be an unfair comparison because it is such a rich fragrance it smells so freaking good but it's not something that i personally would wear every single day it is such a like intoxicating scent that it's something that i would maybe wear on special occasions to a sexy dinner you know if my husband and i are having date night but every day probably not it's also not a fragrance that i feel you can mix and layer as easily because it is so complex um when you start to get into niche fragrances like these two they can be so like hyper blended to smell the way that they do like it's just such an intoxicating unreal um scent that sometimes the artistry in these does not allow for easy blending or layering with some of your other fragrances so i was a little shocked when i put two and two together or when i put one and one together and i got this combo this combo is unique this combo is surreal this combo is sexy in all the right places but it's also something that honestly and i i don't know if i can say this like and then go i may go back on this later but i could probably wear this every day um because it it's so well done um so side effect is something i wouldn't normally wear every single day side effect is very heaty sexy 
um, very, very much like a unisex sex bomb. That's what this is. It's a unisex sex bomb. It is absolutely amazing. Um, it is just so sexy and alluring. It's, I don't even know how to describe, like side effect is very heavy. It's a very heavy, bold fragrance. It has a very intense projection. And then this one's more of like a softer, like a, a blanket of vanilla. It's like a suntanned skin. It's like, it smells like a more of a skin scent. So these two together, this warms this up to make it softer this softens the masculine the like boldness of this one and it brings it down just a notch to where it could be an everyday fragrance versus just this one by itself so side effect by itself is delicious enticing sensual like inviting it's very much a i don't know a single person who doesn't love side effect um i'm sure you guys the bottle a little bit closer in person so you can see the detail this has like the beautiful um all of the initio have these beautiful like fronts of the bottle the bottles are almost like a velvety it's not velvet but it's just like a very smooth not shiny it's matte it's just like and it's soft it's a soft matte and then the cap says Inicio Parfums, um, or just says Inicio, and then it says the um, fragrance, which this one is Side Effect. So absolutely for a niche kind of fun layering, these two go like feminine, fatal meets sexy guy at the bar, and they came together and they just, yeah, that, that's your skin now. <laughs> So this is like sexy, elegant, charming, um, like that warm woman. You know, like when you feel the presence of someone who's just like so inviting, comforting, but at the same time, like daring, alluring, like this is what I get with this. It's like the sweet, just really beautiful scent. But this is like that type of girl who just like charms everybody. She's like the life of the party but she's also like everyone's best friend i don't know how to describe it but she, she's just warm and welcoming um very luxurious that's what alende is meets side effect which is kind of like the bad boy but he's like an elevated bad boy maybe he's like a big business tycoon or you know he's the type of guy who sits in the cigar bar smoking his cigar after a successful weekend this meets this it just comes together to be this beautiful 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 mix that I could see being my signature scent. So I like having things that are very unique. I like having a scent, a signature scent that not everyone else has. Like when everyone started wearing Baccarat um, Rouge 540, which I am like probably the only person in the entire world who I like some of the other um, MFK fragrances better um, than I do Baccarat 540. I have an appreciation for it, but I'm not like obsessed with it. It's not something that I would feel inclined to buy. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. It definitely has like its allure, but it's not something that I'm like running out to go get. I like Gentle Fluidity. I like some of their other fragrances um, a little bit better than I like the Baccarat Rouge. But the thing is, is that a lot of people wear Baccarat Rouge. Like I could leave my house right now and walk around my neighborhood and probably find at least one person wearing Baccarat Rouge. It's it's just one of those things where a lot of people fell in love with it, it became super popular. So this is a fun way to kind of mix it up and get something that's uniquely you. And so I absolutely, absolutely love these two together. So I may do some more fun layering videos as I go about this. I know that we're still in the Zerjoff review. Um, but this is a fun way to layer your Zerjoff. So I think out of all the um, Zerjoff perfume that I've tried, this one, the Lende, is probably the easiest to uh, blend and layer with other fragrances. So hope you guys liked this video. Much love. I cannot wait to update you on the haul tonight. I'm going to be getting a new purse. Um, I'm deciding between a couple ones, but I really, really like YSL for purses. I own a couple YSLs that I absolutely just really um like the quality i like how they last um and i just i don't know i just like how they look too so anywho i hope everyone's having a great week and i'll see you guys in the next video